guys, I am back with a video, and this video is actually only going to be some kind of a, it's not really a review, but it's just kind of a random video. Um, I wanted to share with you guys that I recently ordered the Bubby brushes that she recently launched, and if you don't know who Bubby is, she's a YouTube guru here on YouTube, um, and she is very popular, and uh, she recently launched brushes, and I ordered the full set just because I'm, I love her so much and I just really wanted her brushes. So I wanted to share with you guys um, my opinion on them or my first impression on them. Um, so the first two I'm going to show you are, are the two that I was so anxious to look at to see. And it's the, this one is the Flawless HD brush. And if you can tell, I already used it. It's kind of orange right here. Um, so first impression I used this, I thought, I, when I first saw it, I thought, okay, it's very, very dense. I really like that. Then when I first used it, it was really, I didn't like it the first time I used it because um, it was very heavy. It was really hard to move around my face. Um, although, I feel like maybe that's just because it was the first time. The second time I used it, I really liked it because... Um, just like Bubby demonstrated in her demo video, it did exactly what the, uh, you know, what the brush was supposed to do. So I think it was just bad beginner's luck, I guess. Um, so I really like this brush. The second one that I really like is the buffer brush. And it's really short, but it's really cute. Um, first impression, I thought it was very soft. And when I first used it, I, I would say that... It feels dense, but when I actually use it, it doesn't feel as dense as I was thinking it would feel. I mean, like, it's not, like, it's not, it doesn't feel as dense as the, the e.l.f. powder brush. Um, and this one doesn't even feel like it's as dense as this one. But I'm assuming it's because of the different hairs. But I really like this. It's very soft. It doesn't bug me or irritate me at all. Um, I still really like it, um, and I still use it. I have been using them, if you can tell. Um, so yeah. Um, and then another one I've been using a lot is the Kabuki brush. And this is the first ever Kabuki brush that I've ever gotten, like, ever. Because I usually don't use Kabukis. I usually just use, like, big powder brushes, like, like this one. I mean... They're pretty similar. So, yeah. But this is my first Kabuki brush, and I really, really like it. Um, and like Bubby says, it comes with a little pouch. And I don't want to get my little pouch dirty, so I haven't put it back in. Although I did one time. But, yeah. I, I still really like the Kabuki brush. It's very dense, very soft. Um, it does a magnificent job at what it's supposed to do. Oh, by the way, the bag... Ah! Um, the bag it came in with... This cute little purple bag, and with the brushes, and of course they're all wrapped in plastic. And these ones you can tell I have not touched because I just want to savor when I use them. So, anyways, um, the angled brush, I can't really say much. I don't, I didn't think, or I didn't think it was this big. The angle is really, really big. Oh, yeah, yeah, or I don't know. Um, but definitely really soft, really smooth. I really like the colors. I really like the brush alone. Um, yeah, with the other brushes, I mean, this one I thought, okay, I thought it would be a little more dense. But, I mean, or and a little more round. I didn't think it would be so flat. But I really don't care because I have a lot of other brushes anyway. I just wanted the full set. So, yeah. Um, with the concealer and, um foundation brush. I thought they were very, very soft, but they aren't as dense that, as I had hoped or had expected them to be. But I mean, for the price that I paid for them, I think, I mean, in US dollars, I probably paid, I don't know, like 10-ish something dollars per brush on average. So, I mean, that's pretty, that's a really good deal for a really good brush. I mean, if you go to MAC, I mean, a good brush like this is $30, so I saved a lot of money. Um, okay, moving on. The powder brush, I really, I think it's so cute. I mean, like, this reminds me of a puppy because it's white and it's so pretty. Um, but I, again, I haven't used this because I have a lot of other brushes I want to use before I start using these uh, on a regular basis. Plus, they're just so pretty. 
Okay, and then the one I really like is this one. It's the dual eyes one. I haven't used it because it's white and I'm so scared that it's not going to come off because um, like my Flawless HD one, I mean like the foundation I can wash. This is clean. I haven't used this since I washed it and this part I couldn't get off so it's really really sad but I figured a brush is a brush. So I'm really scared to use the white ones because I'm scared that if I wash it it won't come off but I'm eventually going to use it. Okay, and then the last one, I believe, is this one. And um, this one, Bubby says you can use it for highlighting and for, for blush and, you know, all that stuff. I, uh, first impression, wow, it's so cute and it's so soft. I've had brushes like these before, but I mean, when I did have it, the brush was not this nice. So I'm very impressed with this. And I probably don't see myself using this very much because I've got a lot of other brushes too that are similar and probably could do the same thing. But I would use this brush eventually, you know. Me and my makeup freakish. Anyways, um, okay, so I'm going to put these all back in the bag and just show you again what they look like when they get here. Okay, pretend the kabuki brush is in its little bag. I dropped it, so I'm not going to go back and grab it. Um, so, yep, it looks like this. And you've probably already seen other videos with the Bubby Brushes demo. But, uh, yeah, it comes with this cute little pink card that says, Thank you for shopping with us. We hope to see you again soon. Love, Bubby. And it's really cute. Pretty sure she drew this, too. Yeah. So, very, very impressed with it. I love these brushes. And I'm trying so hard not to use them because I feel like once I start using them, they're going to start deteriorating on me. Oh, another thing I wanted to mention. The buffer brush, it sheds a little bit. I mean, and it's not like super, super flat top. There's For my brush, maybe it's just my brush alone. Like there's little dents in here. Like it wasn't, it wasn't cut perfectly flat top. But I mean, that's not a big flaw. I'm just saying it was... It threw me off because I thought it would be really, really flat top. But anyways, um, thanks for watching and uh, no negative feedback, please. I was not trying to like sabotage anything. It was just my opinion. Um, and I just wanted to share with you guys what the brushes are like and what my opinion are. Um, so thanks for watching and I will see you guys in a different video. Bye.